Hello! Welcome back to Golden Sun. We are exploring in this cave. And things are... Oh! Okay. So... I think I need to push... He said the ones on the... He said rotate. But he said kind of like push, move. So maybe just have to use move on the rocks. I guess this is the puzzle. Oh. Okay, so just run up and press A on it. Okay, sweet. Things are going... According to plan. Uh, that looks like white, which is the third rock. I still have my note. I made a little sticky note on the desktop, and it's still here. So, hopefully, thing goes according to plan. That looks like green, which is the second rock. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I thought that was gonna. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! I feel like the uh, the sound effect was warranted on that one. And it's on the table. Ah ha! Sweet, that wasn't so bad. What if we reveal in here? It seems this whole place seems very secrety, you know? All right. Well, <laughs> I'm wrong. That's fine. So. Yes, I said I would kind of check back on a walkthrough every now and again just to see if I've missed anything crazy, um, specifically like Ginny or whatever. Um, and I have missed a Mercury Gin, which is going to be really important to get because I need to take that gosh dang Earth Gin off of um, Mia. Um, it's one where you have to like just wander around a section of the map until you get attacked by the Gin, and then I don't really like those ones because. They're a lot of times in like very obscure sections of the map, um, which I guess rewards you for exploring, but for the most part, exploring the world map doesn't have a purpose. And I think there's been like three, if you count this one that I need to go get still, that'll be like the third available gin that you just get from wandering around the world map. And they're always in like obscure places that you don't really have a good reason to go, and they don't really pop up right away. You kind of just have to like wander around there for a while and hope for the best. Um, I think there's been a Mars gin like that, um, which I don't think I got on the other playthrough, so I wasn't able to show you guys where that's at. Um, and then there was a ground gin that I happened to accidentally stumble across. Um, oh, I guess it's Venus, right? Yeah, that's the Earth type. Is it Venus? Yes, because there's also Jupiter. I always would say ground gin. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is wrong. Rotten blood, that's... Ooh, oh. I'm gonna say that's new. Oh, no, Mage isn't playing games. Uh, oh, never mind. When we first started the game, uh, I think Saturos used Fireball on us or something and just like one shot everybody. Which I guess makes sense because he's probably more powerful and we're also way weaker, but still. I got a little bit of PTSD there for a second. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about backtracking out of this cave. I think I can use, like, an escape. Let's go ahead and use the new ability Tom Nook got. That'd be nice. Like, I have, like, an escape ability I could use, but... I don't know. I think it's, like, an equal distance. I'm sorry, who took 8 damage? I'm sorry, Armored Rat? Incredibly Armored? NINE DAMAGE! And he's defending. Seems excessive, wouldn't you say, Mr. Rat? Oh, so is he just... Is he armored against... Like... Magic? Or is he just, like, incredibly armored on his first turn? Hey look, it's a cookie chest again. Double the rewards for exploration. Please, please die, Mr. Deathhound. I don't like you. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was bad in so many ways. Oh, we can see how much this gives back. I don't think it gave health back because it was the end of the round. 
I've not actually seen Life Leech heal Ivan yet. No. Oh. <laughs> the range on my brain hand is incredibly limited. I mean, hard to be upset about that. In fact, I even have a brain hand as a step in the right direction compared to most people, I would suppose. Oh, we have one more Rumo Darkness to make our way through, I guess. Oh, is that going to kill him right away? Oh, nope. Oh, how about another one? I'm trying to think what advantage Garrett has over Tom Nook. He might be tankier, but Tom Nook seems like he has more health and deals more damage. And I'm not sure if he has more Poseidon energy. Of course, he might also have more in, so that would do something. Anyways, the moral of the story is, everyone back in the hometown treated Garrett like garbage, and I think maybe he deserved it. Mm. Is everybody level 20 now? No, sorry, Garrett. <laughs> oh, and also Ivan. So I guess Tom Nook is just leaps and bounds ahead of it, ahead of the curve. Because he got level 20 like seven years ago, which is probably my own fault for not recording that much. Uh, Invisible Man, I have a thing for you. You! You came back, please, the drought, quickly! Hooray. Oh, thank you, you've saved my life! Hurry! Cloak, cloak, cloak. <laughs> oh. oh good now he's in the dark Aha! <gasps> thank you for your help I'll be okay now look at it, it look at it, it's a man <laughs> what are you talking about what did you expect Garrett you idiot well I mean I, we couldn't see who was talking but freaking Ivan twitched a little bit like this idiot Oh my gosh, oh. <laughs> my sudden appearance seems to have startled you. Oh, Big's time. I would have revealed myself sooner, but I could not even move. I just become paralyzed while you're invisible. And that ability to consider yourself, are you an adept? An adept? What are you talking about? You used plus iron energy to consider yourself, didn't you? Only an adept could do that. Oh, um, yes, I was using Psy energy to conceal myself. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Something in his tail doesn't sound right. I shall peer into his heart and mind, but mostly his mind with my own mind. <gasps> What's the matter, Ivan? This, this is Babby, the ruler of Tolby. And that wasn't Poseidon energy he was using to conceal himself. It was the power of an ancient civilization. I said nothing of the kind. How can you know that? Mm -hmm. So I guess that would make you adepts. Does that mean I have finally found true luminarians, Lem Lemurians? That's what I've been saying. We're adepts. But what's Lem Lem Lemuria? Lemurian? Yes. What is this Lemurian? What? Your adepts, but not Lemur? It sort of seems that way, wouldn't you say? Because we've never heard of that and can't pronounce it. No one can pronounce that. It's unpronounceable. No, oh, no, little boy. I was wrong. Are you searching for these Lemur, Babby? Babby, you're the rule of Toby. You can have anything you want. Why would you want to find these? Even the rule of Tolby has his limitation. Every year I grow older and more frail. This body's had it. I do regret growing older. I understand your desire to remain young, but there's nothing anyone can do about it. Wait a second. Tom Nook, do you remember when we were in Soul Sanctum? Oh, big time. That place was crazy. That's right. Creighton said alchemy could thwart death itself. What was that? Mm, maybe I shouldn't have said that, Tom Nook. Did you say you know Kraden? Oh, big time. He's our favorite guy. Oh, sweet. Babby! Uh-oh, that's the voice. We've been searching everywhere for you, Babby. 
Eodem said you would find you an Ultima Cave. You're not, you're not glad we found you? No, it's not that. What are you doing in a cave such as this, Milo? <laughs> I have my reasons. I'm trying to fix my disgusting purple monkey face. Everyone in Toby has been in panic over your absence. I did not mean to cause any undue concern. We're just happy we found you before the finals began. The trials have already ended. Why have you been in this cave for so long? I had an important errand, but it had been taken. But it, uh, it's fine. Get us up. Splendid. Then you can attend the finals. I must speak more with these people. Leave us the torches and go. And but who are they? Mm -hmm. I owe my life to them. <clears throat> yes. Uh, pardon our rudeness, you have our gratitude for saving Nanny's life. We must have Elodem grant them a reward. You can speak with them now that the finals are finished. <laughs> oh, I see. If that's what we have to do, then I guess I'm not really the boss around here. You two imbeciles must be. Lord have mercy. I have not heard your names yet. I'm Garrett. And this is Tom Nook. And I'm Ivan. Mm. My name is Mia. Come see me at my palace once the finals have ended. I would like to speak with you for there. You can both, you, every single one of you can sleep in two beds at once. Say, I have an idea. Why don't you enter the finals? You seem quite capable. Oh, no. You have some interesting powers. But Lord Babby, they have not cleared the trials. Only warriors who clear the trials can appear in the finals. Mm. And you don't think that saving my life qualifies Lord as a Lord of Trial? <laughs> yeah, it does actually, yeah. I look forward to seeing you in battle. Did you say seeing you in battle or to seeing you battle? Are we going to have to punch an old man? With rocks? Oh, don't give me that, Dark. He's asking us to appear in Colossal, isn't he? <laughs> Is he serious? Are you freaking joking me? Is this some kind of sick joke? <laughs> he wants to see us use fight. That's what it is. Use our side energy. The finals. Should we do it? Oh, big time. I'm trying to get that money. I'm trying to get a bunch of useless gold. So we'll do it. Either way, we're stuck here in Tolby until Colossus is over. Abby said that he wanted to talk to us, didn't he? Mm, he seemed to know great. What could be the connection between and the adepts? I suspect he knows quite a bit about what's going on with us. I guess all we can do is wait around until Colossal is over. I just hate waiting around. I hate it. Come on, let's go into Colossal. Can we do it? Big time. All right, let's not wait. Let's go punch. If you want to do a Tom Nook, we'll go along with you. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. And then I won't forget that I have this ability where I can just go like, Bye! I never freaking use that, ever. And I'm a doomie. Aha! Escape has been granted to me. Alright, so we need to go back to Tolby now, but I also want to run around on the world map until I find that Jupiter Mercury gym. So I'm gonna just pause it here and then we'll. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here he is. We found him. Okay, so. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, whatever. And we are incredibly prepared. Sorry, friend. My bad. Whoops. It was a joke. Um, don't tell your parents. I kind of like watching these, even though they take forever. And I'm also super thirsty, so I'm just going to let these run while I take a nice sip of water. I always like to say, like get a sip of my beverage when I was drinking water, generally, but it- Oh my gosh, see you in a minute! Oh, this sucker doesn't even know what's about to happen. I'm not sure if damage between fights is persistent, but I guess we'll find out. Tornade! Um, anyways, I like to say take a sip of my beverage, but then it turns out the definition of a beverage- There's no escape, idiot! Um is literally any drink other than water. 
So I've been so wrong my entire life about my most frequently enjoyed liquid. It's not a beverage. I'm a loser. There's no escape from that trash. My goodness. It's crazy how high his agility is, and he's gone to run away like two times in a row. So, like, running is like his go-to thing, I guess. And he's only slower than Ivan, so... Oh, wow. Oh. He didn't even get to get smacked by a meteor. That may absorb your delicious, tasty flavor! Yay! It's a not a beverage, it's water! Ale! Wow, well, Tom Nook. Stack the odds with yourself, you criminal. Wait, effect. Freeze a foe to drop its devens. Oh, can I not... Can I not give ground while he's recovering? I don't think I can. Alright, so... We will have to run back to Tolby. And run around outside of Tolby. Oh no, I've been getting I've been getting assaulted by gnomes like you wouldn't believe on the way over here. And I don't know why, but I wasn't using anybody's synergy. Um Ooh, let's use Froth Spear and see how that goes. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. It's kinda meh. Considering Considering that we lose gosh dang um Wish and all of Mia's healing abilities. Super not my favorite. Haha. -ha. So yeah, this is gonna just massively raise everybody's abilities. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, yeah, skip it to him. And then setting hail does no change, but a little bit of increase in stats. Cool. And I guess if you hold right bumper and then hit select, you'll set everything, just to save you time. Like, if I somehow manage to kill that the genie without using hardly any of my... The genie that I unset, I don't want to have to like go back through and manually set them all. You can just hit the right trigger and then select. It's random, but whatever. Okay, but that armored rat got absolutely decimated. So, what the jank? I just want to get back to town so bad. I just want to. No! <laughs> no! No! Just have some of this and some of these and, uh, the better craft. Goodness gracious. Ooh! A magister? Excuse me. He's a magister. He's not a magician anymore. He's a magister. I think there is an inn over here. Oh wait, but it's all full up. Maybe still. Let us go inside and find out. Any polices? Oh, well, okay, no. <laughs> it seems like they don't have any places. But maybe Babby's house is open for business again? My girl, my girl. Don't mind me, a VIP coming through. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to rest up before the match. Have a nice rest. Put me in that bed. Mmm. The soothing flute of rejuvenation. Okie dokie. Now do we need to go talk to Babby? The Babby's soldiers have gone to see the sights of Colossal. They're warriors too, so they ought to get them pumped up. Oh my. There's a whole section of Babby's house that I never explored. Didn't find nothing. It's kind of, like, these sorts of graphics and, like, buildings and stuff remind me of Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. Um, I guess technically 6. This place is huge! 
He's got a dank, nasty basement. Whoa, nothing dank or nasty about this. Look at all these scholars. Originally, there were ancient ruins at the site of Babby Lighthouse. There's said to be an extremely long tunnel beneath those ruins. Impressive. Let's go find Babby, and then we'll wrap up this video. That definitely looked like a... Uh oh Like a monster basement. This looks like a secret door. Babby's chambers? Maybe? Oh my. Why, he's nowhere to be found. Oh my gosh, this house. Anyways, the thing I was saying about... Ooh. Babby has returned the fire to begin. He might just be over Colossal. Anyways, the thing I was saying about this house is it reminds me of Final Fantasy 3 or 6, depending on how cool you are and how much stuff you know. Um, but anyways, I love that game and I love the aesthetic. So I love this game and the aesthetic. Regardless, I guess next time we'll continue the search for Babby. I mean, that's what we were doing last time, but now it's the stakes are a little lower. And we'll probably beat some dudes up in Colossal, so that'd be nice. But uh, anyways, see you then, everybody. Have a great day.